Scarlet is gone with the wind, but we are back for another episode of Wabbit Woo View of Woo Paul's Drag Wales. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Hello everyone, my name is Gilda Wabbit, and if you do not know, every week I review Woo Paul's Dwagways here at Wabbit Review, except for last week. I filmed and then... I have crippling depression. But it's okay, I'm back, and we're going to get right into it. Today's challenge is a farm to table runway. Organic, cage free, grass fed, on prep. That's pre exposure prophylaxis. Right away, we learn about a little tension between Brooklyn Heights and Plastique Tierra because Plastique and Brooklyn have been at the top of every design challenge, but Brooklyn keeps taking home the wins, and Plastique says, I want to prove that I have more to offer than just a pretty face. And while Plastique is feeling the pressure, Raja is feeling very confident. She says, this is an unconventional materials challenge. I came into the runway in an unconventional materials dress. And I have to ask, was her unconventional materials dress really all that good before? Extra, extra, read all about it. Raja's runways are just okay. The rest of the girls are also feeling the pressure. Nina feels like she needs to prove that she's more than just personality. Evie wants to prove that the alternative girl can slay the alternative materials challenge. And Silky wants to bring it because she feels like she truly has all that it takes. The only person who is calm is of course the Canadian Brooklyn Heights. However, RuPaul starts her walkthrough and she begins with Brooklyn, who she says, yes, Brooklyn. You've been doing amazing, but I challenge you to bring out your personality. And that sort of becomes the theme of the episode this week. She also goes to Plastique and talks about Plastique's sort of reserved, closed off personality. And Plastique starts to break down because she says, you know, I, I come from a family and I feel really repressed about my sexuality and we're a very conservative family. And so I've repressed my personality and I feel like that's holding me back here. And I think that's something that all of us can relate to except for apparently Raja O'Hara who shades Plastique in her confessional talking about how a runway walkthrough should not be about your family drama. And girl, that's just hateful to get bitter about that when all of us have experienced um, someone that we need to like make ourselves smaller in front of. Her bitterness, much like her paper runway, is not a good look. RuPaul tells the girls, hey listen, I've got a surprise for you. So they go out to the main stage and there they find Alyssa freaking Edwards of the House of Edwards, who is the mother of Miss Plastic Tiara. And she says, I'm gonna give you all a talk through of how you should walk the runway. Again, the theme of personality comes up and she reminds us that yes, the garment must look beautiful. Yes, you must look glamorous. But if you're not giving us a peek into who your character is, you're not gonna win that runway. She wants the flavor, darling. Alyssa also gives the girls a little twist on the challenge and says, I'm going to teach you a country line dance and we're gonna do a country line dance performance for RuPaul before the runway. And Vanessa laments, just like I would if I were in that situation, one more thing on top of designing a dress. <sighs> However, the lights on the main stage come up, RuPaul looks sickening and we bring the girls out for this adorable country challenge. We have Evie Oddly in the corner giving Fiddler on the Roof realness. We have all the girls doing the hilarious and adorable line dance. And honestly, the girl who really kills this for me is Nina West. I know we've been talking all episode about how she wants to bring more than just her personality, but man, when she is given a chance for her personality to shine through, it is so entertaining to watch. And now we get to the Wabbit one down of the one way. Sugarcane, honestly, sickening. I love this hair, I love the concept. It's sort of a cool homage like Dorothy on the farm in the middle of the tornado. I think it's so fabulous. Silky Ganache. We've seen this a lot from her before, but honestly, she looks beautiful. She's rhinestoned the dress with beans and candy. I think it's great. Evie Oddly, romantic and soft, which is something I can't say we've seen from her yet. And the colors are gorgeous. Nina West, again, as always, serving on the runway, the face, the expressions of personality, and honestly, from the waist up, a whole ass look. However, I think it was only half shucked, and I wish there was more on the bottom. 
Brooklyn, gorgeous, chic, fashion, and that ass though. I carry a Chanel Davenport. The shoulders are truly not doing it for me. There's another linebacker in this runway and it's not just Nina West. Vanji, it's okay, but I hate that fucking headpiece. Raja, it's interesting. It looks like a dryad or some sort of woodland creature, but I don't know if I like it. Plastique, as always, beautiful, but it really reminds me of a lot of the other runways she's been doing this season. This week, my golden carrot goes to our Canadian sister, Brooklyn Heights. Yes. However, the judges disagree and they give Plastique the win this week, citing not only her beautiful runway, but also her ability to finally come out of her shell. And who does that leave in the bottom? But Nina West, Raja D. O'Hara, and Akiria Chanel Davenport. The judges, after deliberating, decide to save Nina West for another day, and I agree. I thought the garment was pretty decent, definitely improvement for Nina, and I think she has a lot more to show. So we get a lip sync between Akiria and Raja, and honestly, y'all, I'm excited. Raja's a great lip syncer. I have not seen Akiria, but I think she's sickening, so I'm ready to go. And right out the gate, I am just tunnel vision on Akira Chanel Davenport because that bitch is captivating. And unfortunately, despite her other performances, Raja sort of phones this one in. I think she realized that on the fourth time in the bottom, she was gonna go home. And that's what she does. Au revoir, Raja Di O'Hara. See you next time. What did you all think, audience? Who were your favorite runways this week? Feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe Push that little bell button for notification and then click on another video to watch. I'll see you next week. Bye!